The next feature that we're going to take a look at on the reference tab within Microsoft Word is the captions tab. You can see it right here. I've got the references tab. Right next door to citations and bibliography, you got captions. And just like citations and bibliography, you got a couple of features in there. And there's a few steps that you're going to go through to create captions, insert those captions into your Word document, and then create the table of figures and style it as needed. So let's take a look at this, this exercise file I got open. This is 27 captions. Now, I've already completed the tasks that we're about to do because I want to show off what these captions can do for you within large documents. Take a look. So if I scroll through here, I've got a little chart. And right below that chart, I've got a caption. This one says figure one. So one, I denoted it as a figure. Now it's the first figure. And then I've called it sales by category, just making a reference to the nice little chart there. And if I keep scrolling through, dun, 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 I got a little table. So I've got another caption in here right here got table one and I've called it table of sources just a bunch of miscellaneous sources found in that table and if I keep going through some more I've got an image in there now perhaps that image is relevant to the content that it's found within so I've placed a caption on that image as well perhaps this is a caption of who took the picture or where the resource came from whatever it might be but it's an image caption and I've called it kitty cats now those are just the captions. I'm going through the document and I'm placing captions next to relevant content. Whether that's a figure, a chart, an equation, an image, whatever it might be, a table. Once that's done, there's a few things that I can now do with those captions. One, I can make cross references to those captions. So perhaps you're reading through a document. Hey, videos provide a powerful way to help you improve your point. When you click online video, see sales by category. And I, I made a reference to the caption right there. And it's a link. If I click on it, in this case I control click on it, it would take me to that caption. Now if I keep going through, once again, I got a little table in here. To change the way a picture fits in your document, see table below. I'll give that a click below. It'll take me to that caption. Now. I've just slapped some captions in here that don't really have any solid meaning to the content that we have, but we get the idea. You get to go through, add captions to images, tables, equations, charts, figures, whatever it is. You get to make cross-references, essentially hyperlinks, that will take you to those captions. And then you can insert what's called a table of figures. So if I scroll down here all the way to the last page of this document, here's my table of figures. This process should feel pretty similar to inserting the citations in the bibliography earlier. Because now I just insert a table of figures and it builds a nice little table based on all the captions that I've added to this document. And they're hyperlinks. If I control click on them, it'll take me right to that caption. This is huge. You got a large document, lots of content, lots of little images and tables and tables and charts and so on. And now I want to be able to caption each of those elements and then create a table based on those captions. This is part of your captions feature. We're going to break this down over the next few videos here. So get ready. But first, download the document 27captions.docx. It's a part of this lecture right here. Now it's not done. It's not going to have any captions in it yet. No table of figures. But we're going to build it over the next couple of videos. So get ready.